welcome to Zenematics. Uh, this is another video of the series where we're going to do tricky integration questions till your exam day. So let's start with today's question. All right, so the idea that we're going to implement today is not very intuitive. And we're going to try to integrate natural log of x with respect to x. So we have to integrate ln x uh, with respect to x. If you have not seen this problem before, I would highly recommend that you pause the video right now and try to think about this question for a while. And if you are successful, that would be very great. If you're not, you can come on uh, to the video back later again and watch the solution. So for those of you who have tried it and are successful, congratulations for that. And for those of you who are struggling, let's see how to solve this question. For integrating ln x, the problem we are facing is that we do not have any direct operator as a part of A-levels Cambridge syllabus that can be integrated in this integral. So the idea is a little bit unusual. And what we're going to use is the product rule. The back of the we also call the product rule by parts integration. Now, I use the word strange because product rule is generally used on whenever we have two terms being multiplied to each other. The problem we are facing over here is that we only have a singular term. So we're going to convert it into two terms as a product of two terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply one with this long term and let's convert it into a product between two things. Once we have the product, let's take u and v. For those of you who have already understood the base idea for integration by parts, you would know that we always take logarithmic terms as u, and that is a compulsory thing. And as a consequence of that, we have to take the other term as v. Now we're going to need two main things, differentiation of u, and integral of v. So u is log of x. If you try to differentiate it, that would become 1 over x times differentiation of the inner function, that is 1. So the differentiation of one log of x would be 1 over x. So this is the differentiation of u. For integral of v, v is 1. So if I want to integrate 1, with respect to x, it would simply be x. With this data, I'm going to apply the product rule now. So, u integral of v minus bigger integration sign, square so bracket star, differentiation of u times integral of v. All right, so for u, I'm going to use what, uh, log of x. For an integral of v, I have x minus bigger integral sign. Differentiation of u, you guys can see from there, is 1 over x. And integral of v is going to be x. Once we're done with this, we're going to simplify a little bit. Inside the bracket, both the x terms are going to cancel out with each other. We're going to be left with 1 in the integral. So next term we're going to look at is x log x minus integral of 1. We have already seen that in integral of 1 is x. So we will write x log x minus x. You can take x common. This is our final integral. This is final integral for log of x. It's a bit tricky to think on this problem because we are not expecting a product rule from a singular term. And that is the problem many students face with this question. So if you have not seen this idea before, try to remember it before you go into your A-levels Cambridge exam. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.